There are a lot of misconceptions about cats. I always say to someone who says, oh, I'm a dog person, not a cat person, go spend an afternoon with a cat. I think one of the things that really irks people about cats is they're so phenomenally independent. Dogs and cats were my first animals. They don't always get to stick around for very long. And as a child, as you understand that there is a cycle, you know, things live and then they don't live, that really starts to prepare you for what life is gonna throw at you. I am always about people having animals. We have enough people in this country and in this world to just get all these kiddos into homes, you know? Feed them well, love on them. They teach us a lot more than we can consciously understand. They all individually bring such a phenomenal energy that not only inspires you, but reminds you to have fun. I found Moke when I was shooting Loss. There was this tiny little orange guy that kept trying to crawl into the catering truck. He was covered in fleas. He was a feral, you know, Hawaiian cat. When I was leaving Lost, it was very sad to have to leave, not just leaving, living in Hawaii, but leaving that experience with those people. And I would go home and I could snuggle my little Hawaiian kitty. And I, I knew every time I looked at this cat, I would remember those really special times in Hawaii. He's now 14, so he's not a kitten anymore. My wife fosters a lot of animals, which is the best thing. I can come home and there's 12 puppies with a mother that's just so excited to be there and be cared for. When you have a lot of animals, you, you run into problems all the time. So we keep a really great schedule with all of the care of our animals. I have detected things in Moak that were early that we were able to correct. Had they gone unnoticed or unchecked, they would have become very problematic and would have ended his life a lot earlier. Take Your Cat to the Vet Day is really about encouraging and inspiring people to recognize that our feline family members need annual medical care, just like we do. I have teamed up with Royal Canin, a global leader in pet nutrition, to raise awareness about the importance of yearly consistent cat veterinarian care. One cat for every five dogs goes to the vet, which is crazy because there's actually 10 million more cats in the United States than there are dogs. It's in us to just want to take care of other creatures. When you look at the treatment of animals in society, when you look at what's really going on out there, that's when you get really involved. I mean, a world with no animals and only people, it would be void of a lot of love and energy. Life is fast and life is hard because we have a lot of things to deal with, but the animals in our lives change everything.